My favorite part of rehearsing for Catch Me If You Can has been learning the tap dancing. That is something I've always really wanted to do. I've never had an opportunity to tap in a show or to take tap lessons, and so it always just seems so fun. Uh, there's no way to be sad when tap dancing, and so that's been my favorite part so far. My favorite part of rehearsing for Catch Me If You Can has probably been I don't know, just the personalities. It's been a long time since I've, you know, gotten to like see a lot of people since you know, 2020, early 2020. So it's just been fun just seeing all the personalities and all the laughs that come with it. The community uh, uh, that, that Sterling builds uh, for itself is really fantastic. Um, there's a great group of volunteers uh, that work on every show. Um, this being my second production with Sterling Playmakers this year, uh, it just no matter who's on uh, the production team, uh, they're always great to work with. They're really friendly and warm, uh, and they make you uh, want to create, uh, which is uh, kind of a bonus for community theater. Uh, my favorite thing about working with Sterling Playmakers is just the community involvement and all of the great, amazing people that I get to see every day. My favorite thing about my character Brenda is her song at the end of the show. Um, it's like one of the last songs that happens in the show. And I, when I first listened to the soundtrack before I knew anything about this show, I was like, oh my gosh, that is a banging song. And then I got the role and now I get to sing it. So I'm super excited. And I hope that you will like it when you hear it and you come see our show. I would definitely have to say his journey like his life journey, like he, he starts out successful, or so people think, he, he's good at hiding it. And then he's a little less successful, and you know, I don't wanna give away the ending, but it's fun. I think I would be the French substitute teacher because then I can pretend that I know French and not just say je ne sais pas français all the time whenever I hear somebody speak French. And also a field trip to a French fry factory sounds really fun and I didn't know French fry factories were a thing, if they actually are a thing. <laughs> hmm, if I could have any of Junior's jobs, I think it would be doctor because I seem to be in my personal life surrounded by family who are in the medical field so I felt like, oh, I should have some kind of natural ability to kind of float in, into that and be able to speak the medical talk. Um, uh, all kidding aside, I think the medical thing is probably a, a personal thing of being able to help people. And you know, once they leave out of my care, I'm just thankful that they're okay and they're, they're continuing to lead their lives from whatever it is that I, as a doctor, was able to help them with. So. So I think what audiences are going to like about this show are the characters. There's some really tender moments between a lot of the characters. Uh, the songs are fantastic. Uh, the music is great. I think you're really in for a great ride in this show because it moves quickly. So come on out and see us. There are two reasons I think people will enjoy this show. Number one is the extremely talented cast that um, Sterling Playmakers has. There's a lot of different roles and everybody is amazing at what they do. And the second thing is that this show is actually pretty quickly paced and pretty entertaining. And there's a lot of music, a lot of singing, a lot of dancing. And so for people who enjoy musicals, you will for sure enjoy Catch Me If You Can.